Hi, this is Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru. And today I want to, uh, well, probably upset a few people uh, by providing some information on social media as it affects e-commerce. And what I'm going to do is summarize a couple of the findings from Professor Mark Ritson. I've included the full-length video uh, link below here. It's, it's just over 30 minutes. Uh, but what I want to do is just highlight a couple of points that he makes and then use his three-minute ending just to show still the importance of first-page Google results through SEM and SEO. So here's Professor Ritson, not opinion. Uh, by the way, the, the data that he's using is all drawn from Australian uh, case studies. So here are the top 10 brands in Australia, and he's showing their total number of customers and their likes on Facebook and the percentage of of customers that are engaged with people on these major brands through social media. And his comment here is that it's a small, small number. And in fact, uh, what he says is social media is a wonderful tool and it's all about uh, being social and people use it to catch up with their family and friends 94% of the times and he'll say in here 49% of Australians use social media, so that's half the population, but less than 20% use it for business and brands. Uh, and he said, so why, why is it, what, what's so, why are we having so much conversation about social media and so little about traditional media? And he says it's because the coverage in the publications and magazines are highly, highly skilled, skilled, uh, skewed, almost 50% towards social media, when he'll say it's less than 5% effectiveness. Uh, so let me have, let me just finish with him in his own words. Uh, follow the link below if you want to watch the whole story. But this is important things for you to know and why it's important and it impacts on your SEO and SEM. So here we go. Let's do the search. My point here isn't to hammer digital, by the way. Love digital. I just think social is a tiny part of it. And it's not just the old traditional tools like radio and TV that have been misrepresented by social media. Even within digital, we have social and we have the more traditional forms of digital tools like good old-fashioned search engine optimization. Remember that one from the noughties? SEO, AdWords, Google search. When was the last time you heard about that at a marketing conference? Old school stuff, right? Adobe does a lovely piece of research every Christmas on holiday online shopping here in Australia, in America, and in Europe. And they look at billions of transactions online. And they work out where did the person who came from the, another site where did they come from when they came to a site to buy something online? Beautiful data from billions of transactions. During 2013, during the holiday period, 40% of those visits were direct. I typed in WW Louis Vuitton and I bought something. 36% came from search. I typed into Google Louis Vuitton handbags and it took me to the Vuitton site. 20% came from other websites, referring sites, recommending. And for social media, a grand total of 0.9%. Told you to get used to that decimal point. So around about 36 times more customers are delivered by search than they are by social media. When did you last hear that one? My response is, huh? There's a great analyst in the US called Nathan Safran. No relation to our Safran. He said, he wrote a beautiful article last year which was largely ignored because of course it wasn't the trendy thing to say. The title of his article was, Please Can We Stop Hyping Social as the Marketing Messiah? His point was, if I look at how many blogs on the two big sites, TechCrunch and Mashable, talk about social versus search, it's a ridiculous proportion. In TechCrunch, four times more blogs are about social than about search. In Mashable.com, it's 58 times more about social than search. So let's think about this for a second. Search is delivering 30 times more customers who buy, but it's getting 1 60th of the coverage in the media. Doesn't make sense. It is the greatest act of overselling in the history of marketing. And by God, we've oversold some things in our time, have we not? Social media is about 5% of our budgets. It's less than 5% of impact, but it's getting 50% of the coverage in the media. And that coverage is almost exclusively positive. With the exception of my little rant here, when was the last time you read or, or heard anything negative about social media being underwhelming, or not right for your brand, or maybe not the right thing to do? 
Thanks for watching, people. I think you get the idea. You can follow the link to watch the whole 30 minutes if you'd like. I just wanted to remind you, if you need some assistance in any of your SEO or pay-per-click activities, we're happy to help you. Just ring us on the number uh, on the upper right-hand screen or fill out the form. Thanks for watching. Monty Hipsch, The Google Guru.